working full time at a job you hate Trying to pay your bills but you're always late Had a couple dreams back when you was a teen But responsibilities, man, it had to wait You got a bunch of... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been putting up so many fitness vlogs that's basically been consuming my life lately, but I wanted to get up a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's funny, I've noticed how like my subscriber count has dropped since putting up my fitness vlogs, but honestly, I'm doing what I am enjoying to do right now, and I don't want to be fake about it, so that is what I like doing right now, so that's what I'm recording. But I did want to get up a makeup video for you guys today because I am in my sister-in-law's wedding. Um, it's like in three weeks and I wanted to put up what we are thinking we want to do for bridesmaids That way I can kind of see it on the video and see if that's something I truly want to do for the wedding So that is the purpose of this video It's not really a bridesmaid tutorial. It's just gonna be a regular tutorial I happen to be possibly doing for the wedding, but um, I'm really excited to sit down and record for you guys today if you haven't been watching my vlogs I'm having a little bit of skin issues on my face and on my neck. So if you guys see that, just disregard. And if you guys have any tips for all this texture that I have going on, I cannot get rid of it. It's been like six months already. I don't know if it's the gym, my diet. Like, I don't know what's happening. But I've basically stopped using any kind of cleansers and I'm trying to go the natural route. So if you guys have any tips, let me know down below. But other than that... Thank you so much for watching. If you are subscribed here, thank you so much. And if you are not and you want to be, hit that little button down below and let's just jump straight in to this tutorial. Like I said, guys, I'm having a lot of skin issues right now. So I just got home from the gym. So before I start to apply any makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and remove any excess dirt that I have. Typically, I would have liked to have used a cleanser, but time is of the essence and I had to pick up my kids from school, so that's why I used a makeup wipe. I went ahead and I sprayed some Peter Thomas Roth Aloe Tonic Mist on my face. While that really sunk into my skin, I applied some lip balm and then I went back in with another makeup wipe to remove that tonic spray. My pores were definitely open, so that tonic spray kind of helped everything close back up and remove any extra dirt. I'm gonna be moisturizing my face with this first aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I just want to moisturize my face before I move on to anything else. I went ahead, did my brows off camera, and then jumping straight into the James Charles palette. They don't have any names on it, so I'm just going to describe them as best, of I can, as best as I can. This is a very neutral shade of brown. I'm going to be going back and forth just dusting it into the crease. You don't need to be very precise with it. As you can tell, it's kind of the same color as my skin, but I'm just using this as the very first color as a base. Then jumping into the Alyssa Edwards palette, I am taking the color Supreme and Ho, kind of mixing them together and just going right on top of that first neutral color, just giving it a little bit more of a peachy undertone, but just honestly just creating a base for this eye look. So this is when the magic starts to happen. I'm going into the James Charles palette and I'm taking a brick red kind of orange color with a more smaller dense fluffy brush. I'm going to be doing this in circular motions below our first crease color really keeping it towards the outer edge and just blending it in a little bit but keeping the intensity of the color on the outer edge this is really going to bring the smokiness into this eye look i want to do a brown glitter eye so this is very tedious but necessary when creating these kind of eye looks so that you don't look like you got punched in the face then i'm going back into the color ho and supreme and just buffing it on top of that brick color just making sure everything is very blended out now going into a very deep brown, I am basically doing the exact same thing that I did with that brick red color, but really keeping this brown on the outer edge. Once I have a majority of the product on that outer corner, then I will begin to kind of blend it in just a little bit, but I do want the product to stay on that outer corner the most and the most intense. Then you'll see me picking up that fluffy blending brush again. I'm just going back into those colors and just kind of blending it out so there's no harsh lines. Now you can see I went in with the smaller Morphe brush. I love this brush. I wish I had the number on it. 
Um, but this is the black shade in the James Charles palette. I'm really concentrating this black on that outer corner. As you can tell, I am barely blending it forward. It's really staying on the outer edge of that eye. You will see me going back into that blending brush and then smoking it out and blending everything in together. This just really ensures that there's no harsh lines. Everything's very blown out um, and smoky, but still very clean looking and not sloppy so i'm going to be going back into the black and then into the brown and so on and so on i went ahead cut my crease as you can tell i just used a concealer it's so much easier to do this off camera i went into the jaclyn hill and morphe palette again they have no names on it and i went into a glittery brown shade i am packing that on top of the concealer where i cut that crease I'm only doing this because you don't want to just go into glitter right on top of the concealer. It's not going to look as clean. So I'm using this brown as a base, but I wanted to cut the crease just to make it look very blended out and very precise on top of the lid. So now I'm going back into that brush with no product on it, and I'm just going to kind of blend those edges so it doesn't seem like a sharp line. Then I'm going to go back into a little bit of black and just kind of deepen it up a little bit more and blend those edges. I don't want a line from where the brown should shadow is to where the smokiness begins so now I'm going into two NYX glitters this is the GLI 8 and GLI 4 I use the Too Faced glitter glue as a base that's what you see me applying here and then I go straight into the glitters and begin to pack on the glitters mixed together on top of that glitter glue it does get a little bit messy but the Too Faced glitter glue really kind of helps that messiness it would be a lot more of a hot mess if it wasn't for that glitter glue I highly recommend that glitter glue and these glitters mixed together are so pretty so I didn't show this off camera or on camera. Whenever I was done applying the glitter, I went ahead and used a makeup wipe to clean my face. Now I'm going into this e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer. Obviously, for known reasons, is why I'm using this e.l.f. Primer because I have a lot of blemishes right now. But on a real note, this primer is super good and it is only $10 at Target is where I get it. But I honestly love all e.l.f. products except for like some bronzers but anyways that's beside the point <laughs> now I'm gonna take this Tarte um, foundation stick this is in the color tan sand I haven't used this in forever and I forgot how much I love this foundation I feel like it covered up my acne that I have going on right now so well and it didn't emphasize it at all um, you can totally blend this out with the beauty blender, but I like to go in with the brush first once everything is blended out Then I will go in with the beauty blender just to kind of push everything into the skin Now I'm going into this L'Oreal Camila Cabello bronzer. This is a limited edition product So I don't think they have it anymore. This used to be one of my favorite bronzers or liquid bronzers it is amazing for obvious reasons you guys will see here how flawless and seamless this is to blend out i went ahead and put it in all the places where i would typically contour slash bronze and i'm obsessed with this i found this the other day in my kit and i will totally be using this non-stop so i just went ahead with a duo fiber blending brush um, and I really stippled this into the face then I went ahead when I was done with this and I used a little bit of a beauty blender again just to push everything back into the skin now for concealer I'm using two of my favorites and just putting them to make one I am taking a ColourPop concealer because it is a little bit more warmer and I am placing that on the high points of my face so my forehead my chin underneath my eyes and then I'm going to go in with this Too Faced better than sex um, concealer because it's a little bit more on the neutral side and I'm using this to kind of mix in with the ColourPop concealer just to highlight a little bit more which is why I'm using this one on my nose I honestly love the better than sex one and I love the ColourPop so what's better than just mixing them together and creating your own concoction so I'm blending this out with the beauty blender I feel like that is the best way to blend out concealer I like to use the butt first and then go in with the pointy side for underneath my eyes but seriously though how good does makeup look once you apply concealer it is my favorite step of a makeup application so once I am done applying this concealer I'm putting it a little bit underneath the bronzer just to kind of clean up the sharpness of it and I'm gonna take this makeup revolution powder and banana 
super similar to the Benai powder, by the way. And I'm gonna mix that with the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm literally just gonna put some on my desk, mix them together with my finger, and then begin to apply that underneath my eyes. You wanna make sure that you blend out underneath your eyes first before you apply any powder to prevent any kind of creasing. And do the same thing for my forehead wrinkles. I like to push this into the skin versus just placing it there and letting it bake. I love pushing powder into the skin instead of brushing it off as well. So I like to blow out my cheeks so those smile lines are covered. As this powder is sitting, I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill Brightening Powder in Carrots or her Luminous Light. I'm gonna dip the butt in and place some on my skin to kind of get the excess off and then begin to set my entire face with this powder. I am obsessed with this powder because it gives you a very luminous, dewy kind of look, but still sets the face and makes it matte feeling but not matte looking if that makes any kind of sense i literally just tap the butt on my hand for the excess off i place it all over the skin and then i just dip back and forth as you can see how luminous it is on my hand now going into the morphe mega bronzer i believe this one is in mood or megastar i'm sorry i am just kind of re-intensifying that havana l'oreal bronzer um, and placing those in the exact areas that we liquid bronzed earlier i am obsessed with this morphe bronzer again it is limited edition so don't hate me but this is just my current routine right now once I am done with the bronzer, I'm just gonna take a bra, uh, oh my God, a brush, obviously, and I'm gonna contour my nose. Clearly my nose contour is extremely intense right now, which is why I'm going in with a clean blending brush and just blending that away. I kinda like to make it intense and then I like to go in after and just kinda soften it up. I promise you it'll blend smoothly in a minute. Now I'm going into a ColourPop Blush Duo. Again, this is limited edition. Don't hate me, I'm so sorry. But I'm obsessed with this brush. It's such a peachy, natural looking blush. Now I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill Highlighting, Highlighting Flash Palette. This one is in the color Iced. It is extremely icy, as you can tell. A little too icy, but it is what it is. I went in super hard and I'll fix it in a minute, I promise. So I'm applying this to the top of my cheekbones, my chin, above my eyebrows, and my nose, and my cupid's bow. Once I am done with that, I'm going to take the color, um, I believe it's called High Volt, in her loose highlighting palette. Um, and I'm just going to add that to the very tops of the cheeks and then I'm going to smile and do the apples of my cheeks with whatever is left over on that brush. Clearly my highlight is a little out of this world and a little unnatural which is why I'm going back in with my blush brush and I'm kind of toning it down. I love doing that. That is a trick that I've always done and then I'll go in with the beauty blender and kind of just push it all into the skin like I did with all my other products and that is it for the face. So easy right? you would think. So then I went into all the colors that we use for the James Charles palette. I went into that very light brown and then I am taking the brick orange and just kind of using all those colors in the same order that we did earlier and just smoking out my lower lash line. I'm going to take the black on a flat um, liner brush and just really kind of push that into the skin and i'm only going to take it about halfway down because then i'm going to go in with the pencil brush and just blend it all out which will kind of drag it a little bit inwards but this really ensures the smokiness whenever you place the black down and then go back in with the pencil brush and smoke it out that's where you get that very blended out smoked out look now i'm going into a pixie eyeliner i love the pixie eyeliners they're amazing this is like their copper bronze color it honestly looks like you're not doing anything, but once you take a step back and you look at it, then you realize you really are doing something. I went ahead and I used my NARS mascara, and then now moving on to lips. This is my favorite lip liner of life. This is MAC Cork Lip Liner. I love MAC lip liners. Like, they're amazing. But you know who else has really good lip liners is KKW. Like, I'm obsessed with her lip liners. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Kylie's makeup line, but Kim Kardashian, she knows her shit okay makes sense because of mario but now i'm going into kkw 2.5 obviously it is super light but mixed in with this lipstick it is perfect i wanted a little bit more of a glossy effect so i went into the barely there dose of colors i love set he collab i placed that lip um gloss in the center of my lips and voila let me know what you guys think about this look down below 
All right, so don't mind the hair. I feel like I tried really hard to make it look pretty, but it doesn't, but it is what it is. So I actually really like the way that this look ended up looking or turned out. Um, I feel like if anything, I probably would have added a little bit more glitter on this side because I like this eye better than this eye. But other than that, the overall look, I'm obsessed with the nude glossy lips, this really glittery smoky eyes. Um, and I like how I really like blew out the bottom. So I'm obsessed with this look. I feel like my skin doesn't look as bad as it I thought it did. Um, but I feel like, you know, like your skin always looks good inside the house. And the minute you walk outside in the sun, you're like, ah, like that's exactly how I feel. Um, but I feel like I did a pretty good job, like masking the fact that I have a lot of texture on the lower half of my cheeks right now. So the routine that I did for you guys today, this is basically my favorite products at the moment. I know some of them I don't think are available anymore, like this L'Oreal um, Havana um, bronzer. This has been my favorite bronzer since I've gotten it, and I honestly forgot about it, and I found it again, and I was like, yes! I was so excited to find this. Um, and this ColourPop blush duo I, I, blush duo i don't even know the name for it anymore um i think they still have some of them i just don't know if they have this specific one but this is like my go-to products right now the kkw lipsticks are my absolute favorite i know they get a lot of like mixed reviews because they're not a matte they're more of like a creamy finish but i kind of appreciate that because i don't like the way matte lips really look on me and i feel like after a couple hours it's extremely uncomfortable so i don't really necessarily mind carrying it around and reapplying it but um let me know what you guys think about this look let me know if you guys enjoyed watching me create it if you guys would wear it for the bridesmaids look we are wearing a champagne satin dress it's a very simple but elegant and classy dress at first i thought i wanted to do everybody's makeup like a brown matte smoky eye but then i ran across a tutorial kind of similar to this and I was obsessed, so I wanted to try it for myself to see how it looked on and how it would come off on camera. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you guys are enjoying those fitness vlogs. I'm really enjoying it. It's holding me accountable. I haven't cheated on my diet yet, so I'm really having fun creating it and kind of showing you guys like the real rawness of those videos um, and how I basically look like a hot mess. And I do not ever, ever, ever look like this <laughs> literally maybe maybe once a week definitely once every two weeks but anyways i will stop rambling now i had so much fun creating this video for you guys let me know what you guys think again down below if you are new here please subscribe and hit that button down below before you go and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys